<laughs> We're glad you're joining us today to talk about our stitching and other stuff. It's been a little bit since we've been able to film for a few reasons. One is that I had my big retreat, so that's over now. That's where I was last weekend, but where have you been, mom? I, where haven't I been? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we all know I was taking a big road trip. So it's been a big road trip and yeah, timing to try to, we were going to try to floss tube Sarah and I, one of the hotel rooms, but the timing was just not right for either one of us. And um, I've gone through three time zone changes in the last week and a half. So I'm a little confused sometimes, Um, but I have been, I want to hear this. I've been through Washington, part of Oregon, Utah, Colorado, or Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Illinois, Idaho, and now in Minnesota. Iowa. Oh, Iowa. Iowa. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Let me go Iowa. back to Idaho. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Idaho's yeah. coming. Oh, Idaho's oh. coming next week. So we're just doing a big loop. We went all the way out to Indiana to see Sam and Ashley, and now we're working our way back. So we're in Minnesota with Aunt Nancy and Uncle Tom for the yeah, last night and today, and then we leave tomorrow to go up to Duluth to see baby Junie and her parents. Yay, I'm jealous Yay. of that for sure. And we'll be there four days and then we leave next week to start the trek home and do some property house shopping maybe in Idaho on our way home. So yeah, it's been it's been really fun. And actually dad and I have gotten along pretty well. <laughs> That's good. Considering, That's amazing. Yeah, considering long car rides. Yesterday was a 12 hour day. So that was a long day. Yeah. That is a long I, I probably was the one that was having the hardest time at one point. It was lunchtime, but it was like three and it was raining and we were in the car, the parking lot and my fruit cup fell and my fork <laughs> fell on the ground in the car. And I was like, anyway, that was the only time. Otherwise I've been navigating. Dad's been driving and I've been making lots of pit stops. So we, I did do shepherd's bush, but I'm not going to share about that till I get home. Mm-hmm. And I did a, I got to go to a stitch store in Indianapolis that I will share when I get home but Nancy and I got to go to Stitchville USA today Mm -hmm. we're going to share about that and we were there probably two and a half hours and I would like to say I could have stayed longer but I was starting to get overwhelmed Mm -hmm. it's just I mean I and plus it's like how much I mean dad didn't really give me a limit but Mm -hmm. I mean I can't just buy everything I see so (laughs) I I cut it off although we made a pretty good dent both of us did yeah. yeah, I haven't even seen anything. Yeah. But I've done a little stitching on the road in the hotel rooms and a lot of knitting in the car. So no. it won't be too long. And so, I haven't I mean, done very much stitching, but I bet Aunt Nancy has been doing her normal amount of stitching. I haven't. Um, we got new siding and all new windows in our house in the last two weeks. And I had COVID three weeks ago again. Again. No. Um, yes. And this one was really bad. I was so glad that I was vaccinated because I truly think I would have been hospitalized. The cough, Mm -hmm. horrible. Um, but the new window thing, think about that. Take down all the drapes, move everything away from all the walls. A few things fell off the walls as they were pounding the new siding on. So yeah, I didn't do a whole lot of stitching. I did a lot of moving furniture and cleaning and whatever, that's a lot yeah, of work. It is a lot of work. Mm-hmm. And then getting ready for this company to come, we had to put the house all back together. Yes. You know, right. and we had like, well, we had a week, but, you know, mm-hmm. we still worked all day. And then, mm-hmm. so it was just, just a lot. It's okay, like the- repainting and. Oh, we repainted? Well, because we had to, that new front door was oh. bigger than the old front door. We haven't painted that yet, but just to get that she mm-hmm. rock up and mm-hmm. yeah, it's just, I, I get it. Oh, what? that's how I felt when we were doing the laundry room and Cassidy and Andrew were showing up a week earlier than I thought they were on the right schedule. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah. And then dad's like, what do you, what do you mean? They're going to be here next week. And I'm like, they're going to be here next week. So you do, you want your house to be somewhat put together when people are coming. So, yeah. It looks great looks great they have a really comfortable bed downstairs so that was nice nice yeah so yeah and your retreat went well my retreat was really great we had a lot of fun and we're already talking about next year so awesome a lot of people are asking when's the next one when's the next one so we're talking (laughs) about it and trying to make some plans so yeah it was great it was a for those of you who didn't know it's a homeschool mom's retreat 
for those of us who homeschool kind of with Charlotte Mason philosophy. So it was really fun, really enriching. A lot of like, I, I always feel like when I go to retreats like this, it's like my, my people, I found my people and we all like and talk about the same things. Yeah. Nice. It was really fun. Yeah. So we do not, I'm not calling in the girls. They're currently sopping wet, playing in the huge pivot sprinkler out that's coming into our yard from the pasture. So they're dripping wet. They're not coming in and we don't have a featured friend this week. So we can just talk, dive right in. Dive right in. Who wants to go dive. first? Maybe I will. Oh, Nancy has a previous oh, I have, Yeah, oh, I have oh, some. I want to see it. Okay, previous yeah. finish. Yes, we need that. From fully finishes, kind of. This is kind of a Kim fully finish. <laughs> <laughs> so this is oh, oh summer. So can you see and honestly yeah. i didn't look i didn't look in my binder to see who makes this mm. who did we just say this was was it liz matthews maybe it was yeah maybe or That's erica really i think it's hello hello is it um variegated is yarn or, or thread or is it like dmc's that you switch it, it's dmc that we switched so it's really cute so this is one of these things <laughs> that you uh -huh can trade off oh nice like different ones and it just fits in here it's perfect it looks so okay. cute okay this is really yes. nice <laughs> yeah you did a really nice job here on the end yeah yeah Quiet. she's been watching us too long yeah i'll just finish okay, so it like him cute this was um by shannon christine oh, right cute. designs cute. this this one i did last year those fireworks isn't so that incredible cool. yeah i this was really a fun stitch was that all DMC too? Yes. That's yeah. really cute. I kind of forget to go back and look at, she um, has some really cool patterns. And I remember looking at them when you yeah. told me about this one. Hmm. And this one actually had, I think, 1776. And I just put July 4th on there. Oh, I like it. That truck looks like the shading of it looks really like shaped, which I like. Sometimes mm -hmm. like designs yeah, like that are just very boxy. But I love oh, that it's kind of shaded so it looks kind of round and 3D. Right, rounded, There's yeah. probably four different reds in there. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I was guessing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, our light is kind of gray. It's super bright. It's a really bright. Really, really bright. Mm -hmm. This bow came from one of my daughter's dance outfits. Oh. Oh. From, I think it was Abby's when she was three. So she's 26 now. Well, cute. So, yeah. That's cute. And my last one was um, this is waxing moon designs. Oh. Yeah. There's some big houses. Yep. And it was supposed to be, it's the pattern is three separate houses. And oh. I just did them on one. That's it's not super big though. I mean, they think no. they're looking bigger, but they're not. Yeah, it's not. They're only big. about this big. Oh, okay. So here's my hand. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's it's so solid. That and they have seasonal and, and um, holiday yep. versions of these. Yep. Mm. Winter. Do you have the winter one? Is that the one a, I, saw? Yep, I have the winter. Um, I've seen some people do an Easter or a summer. Mm. It's really cute. And then you just mounted it on this. Yeah. And I found this tray at Hobby Lobby. Mm. Probably. Or maybe it was Michael's. But she glued it I on. Just, I just hot glued. Mm -hmm. Cute. Super cute. Just cute. She's better about finishing things than I am. I finished a couple this week, but I forgot about it. So I'll have to show the next one. Here, but I will show that in this project bag of hers is her bag of shame. There's a lot of finishes in here that aren't fully finished. So <laughs> don't think she finishes everything. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, and sometimes I just stitch to stitch mm -hmm. because I like the pattern. Not necessarily that I would ever finish it or hang it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just, yeah. Stitch. Or someday you may look at it and go, hey, I really want that in my house. Yeah. And so you can yeah, just finish yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are really pretty cute. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Who's gonna go next? Let me go next. I'll I'll show you. I haven't stitched. Yeah, you go I've next. Then I'll done two things. things. Well, before I left, that week between the last time we podcast and then or we recorded and then the, we left the next Saturday, I did work on my small, but it's not done. But I did finish my in the hotel. I finished my May square for my Aww. um. Oh. Victorian, what are they called? Historical Sampler Company. Yeah. Colors are not going to come out very well, but I got oh, made yeah, I think they're turning out pretty close. And yeah. I want you to be awed and impressed 
because I did finish this top top border oh. here. Mm, yeah, that's right. I finished, whoops, down past April. So there'll be another square down there. That'll feel good. Oh. And I did all the little flowers that are in yeah. all the little pivot oh, points. Yeah. So I did work. That's really a cute pattern. And it's smaller mm -hmm. than yeah, I thought it big. was from looking at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks and bigger when you hold it up. Mine is like yeah. But I do say, I do think April and May are my favorite so far. Yeah, but, I like those ones too. Although I do like March with those sheep. I know they weren't your favorites, but. They weren't my favorite. And they are cute. And it doesn't call for that many colors. I mean, if you look for this whole year, this is the amount of colors. And you just kind of repeat the same colors over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's smaller, which is nice. I, it took me a minute to get used to that after doing the Joyful World last year because those squares were bigger. Are so big. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have clearly- This is really cute. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I was really happy because I really wanted to work on that border, but I wasn't gonna do that until I got May square done. So I'm already, oh, well, I gotta do the border for June. What is June? June, I think is a bird. What is June next week? Yeah. Yeah, it's a birdhouse and a little wheelbarrow full of flowers. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. They're not that hard. I think, yeah. you know, this one had a lot of stitching because there was a lot of white in it. And this one was a little bit time consuming, but most of the time they're just cute little motifs. So they they go pretty fast, mm -hmm. which is I think why I've been able to keep on point this year because I wasn't quite as motivated in the beginning. But then I also did work a lot on my Four Seasons Barbara Anna girl. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to get cracking on summer. Hold on just a second. Ooh, it's loose. So here's summer. Oh yeah, you did all that. Yeah, summer. there you yeah. go. So I basically, yeah, I basically did all of her that's done so far. Mm -hmm. I did, a, it's really not gonna show up, but I did some of this and some of the white flowers that are in there, but yeah. Oh, I see. yeah, I can kind of see him. <laughs> yeah, lighting isn't great, but I did work on her, and I'll you know we have. I didn't really cross stitch at Sam. I did actually cross stitch at Sam and Ashley's apartment one afternoon. Some of a couple of people took naps. We were kind of in between activities. They kept us running while we were there, um, so we were pretty busy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I might be able to stitch it in at Junie's house. Mm -hmm. but other than that we have a couple we have several more hotels to stay in and not really really terribly long days I mean they're kind of long but not where we're going to go to bed when we get there so I'll get some stitching done on that those are the only two things I brought well I did bring my smalls project but I haven't worked on it okay I kind of got hooked on my four seasons girls mm -hmm. yeah so anyway that was me well I have been working fast and furious on my smalls project so I can't share what I've really been putting the bulk of my time into. That's okay. Uh -huh. I still have a little ways to go, but it's coming. But I did work, I've been kind of working through my magazine monthly goals. So I did work, actually, uh, yeah, I did work on this. I remember, um, sorry, I was uh -huh. confused because it's been a couple of weeks. So I am working on that square with the funny sideways mermaid. Mm -hmm. and I think the last time I showed, I was ripping out windows and I put them back in and I did all that tree basically this time. Oh, there we go. Oh, the tree's kind of right up against the house. Yeah. Oh, I we done now. yeah, I think the tree is done. So I just have a lot of white fill in and then a little roof and then, you know, well, all the rest of that square. I like, the, I like the way the colors are turning out on that versus the picture. Yeah, I do too. I'm hoping that the blues don't, aren't, a problem as I get down here still, but it's a big chunk of here, and I did change it from white to oh, that's um, right, the brown or the gray, the dark gray. It warms it up a little bit. White wouldn't show. Yeah, kind of liked it. So that's like it. yeah, yeah. I worked on that since we last were here. I think the blues will show up because it's a big chunk. You should grab a towel and dry off rather than drip all through the house. <laughs> What? what a towel you can't be serious mom hey, what okay the 
the husbands are in the hot tub downstairs. Yeah. So last night they came, Tom came dripping in his towel upstairs. So mm-hmm. yeah. I'm right there with you, Sarah. Yeah, it's half, it doesn't end. Well, I have an adult that does it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't have a color picture of this one because uh, I don't have the magazine in there, but this is the tunnel of trees that I've been working on for a little while. Oh, yeah. It, that's a terrible picture. It's just the only one I have. But this it's been a while like, since you've worked on this one. I know. I put it on my thing. I put it on my magazine monthly this month so that I would be sure to work on it. I've been working like on like, just carrying down the green, the browns. Hi. Hi. What are little you? trick-or-treaters. My little trick-or-treaters. Oh, that's such a cool like pattern. The color isn't great. I, my color is a little skewed since it's evening, but it's really cute on that dark blue. It's really not really nice. Yeah. Do you need something? No. I think I monthly goals. Oh, I know, but you're so uh, yeah. I think I did. Um, I have worked some on my <laughs> not shores of Hawthorne, spring at Hawthorne Hollow. I don't have the pattern on hand. I think I left it in the basket downstairs. But I can show what I have done. So I need to like zigzag the edges because this one is going to come unraveled over time. Yeah. But I basically uh, uh, just have the top border or the top thing done. Um, I just have a couple more bees and flowers, I think, to add. Hill Haven. You put Hill Haven in there, right? For the name of your house. Yeah, our house we we named we named it Hill Haven. So I put Hill Haven. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's probably new since I showed. You have a beautiful sculpture that you have that has Hill Haven on it, right? Yeah, Jesse got me a big heron. Yeah, like a heron. Armor sign that says hill haven that hangs outside of our house and the girls call their their little egg business hill haven farm fresh eggs oh i didn't know that yeah so oh. it's kind of one of those fun things i also don't have a picture of this because this is my big dimensions valley of the river back you can google it but i worked on this i've just more filling in you can't even see this is the kind of project that you would need to have like a before and after picture to but I never listen to do that. That piece is so thick. You can you yeah. can even see how it's like a tapestry. Yeah. It like just doesn't bend because it's so, mm-hmm. yeah. But you've got a lot done because I remember when you just had the corner done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have gotten a lot done. Yeah. I really have. You I'm, were, probably, I'm probably at least a third of the way through, I would think. Were you working on that when we first started floss tubing? Uh-huh, yeah. So. yeah, I found a picture of it back in my yeah. Instagram and kind of was comparing and it really I really have done a lot we missed our two-year anniversary oh gosh it was today no it was second it, wasn't it might have been yesterday the 23rd I think it's the 23rd I think it's the 23rd I think that's what I have on my thing oh we'll be celebrating when we get back we'll yeah, do a yes. big celebration yes oh man two yeah, years. I didn't even about it yesterday Crazy. two years this is the other that. thing I was done well, Oh, I love this piece too. And I am I so still really like working on this. It is. Wow. Let me see. Am I? Yeah, this is right. So this flower is basically done. There's a few fill in. There's just a couple little stitches here and there that I still need to go back and add back in. But I did all the leaf and stem and this this week. That's a two year project too. You started that in 2020. No. Oh. Mm-hmm. I started it when I was at grandma's. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess that was 2020. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That's right. That is a two year project. I have a lot more to go on. Mm-hmm. That is everything I worked on except my secret one I can't show. The only other thing I was going to say so I might have to, if I can zip back on after I help get the girls fed, I will. Um, okay. But I've been running and running this week. But I, before I go, I was going to show I did a big thing at the retreat and taught like 20 people, 20, maybe 22 people to cross stitch, which was like so satisfying and fun. So I took, this is a freebie, so I don't think I'm worried about showing the pattern. I just don't have the picture. Um, oh, Alicia Paulson. Paulson, homeschool sampler. And it's a freebie on her website. So you can go to aliciapaulson.com. And I made up these little kits for everybody with a needle and Ada and snips you know like she does like lengths of the dmc uh-huh. the girls helped me which was really good they helped me sort the floss you should put a picture of that at the end of them standing there at the table with you okay yeah, i'll try to, to do that because they helped me kit all these up i made 24 kits and i think i have two left so i'm pretty sure i taught 
22 people and it went really well. And I was really proud of myself for being able to teach that many people how to cross. It's not that hard. I mean, we all know that cross stitching, the actual, yeah, once you get going, but I taught them how to start it, how to find the middle, how to, how to start their thread and make their X's. So they, we all started on the pencil, but the most fun part was that like the, that was on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening and Sunday morning. I saw people with their kids out cross stitching in their free time. Uh -huh. I was like, Oh, I did that. <laughs> did you take any pictures or any videos of them all in the room doing it? Dang. Um, I'm hoping somebody did. There was, we had kind of a photographer that was going around and I'm hoping somebody did. Cause I was too busy. Like, cause that would be fun to see. I know that was, yeah. it was really fun. We were just in this upstairs, like kind of like a Sunday school room where you have the dividers, but the dividers were all open because it was pretty full. And there were some couches and chairs and everybody was just sitting there. I had a table in the middle of everybody with some of my finishes and some of the girls' finishes so that they could see like, look, your kids can do this too. Yeah. That was a big motivation for a lot of people wanting to learn so they could turn around and teach their kids. So that's fun. That was really fun. I'm proud of you. I, yeah, that, so I did a lot of that instead of stitching the last week. Yeah. Oh man. What do you got, Nance? You did. Um, I worked on my small, so I can't show that either. <laughs> Kim dug through my basket, so she saw it. I saw it. Super oh. cute. You know who it's uh, going to, too? No. Um, but she just said she didn't have me. Oops. Yeah. Um, I worked on Autumn Quakers. It's really, really the only thing that I have been working on. And I. Oh, wow. Um, Whoa. I just love this piece. It's so pretty. So um, I work. Wait, I, when did you start that? Didn't you just start that? Oh my gosh. In, was it for a Bringo? Did you maybe, start it, very start it? And then, you know, I started it last year. I think. Uh, you know, I didn't write it down. But I don't think you did a whole lot. I no, mean, you should see like this leaf. I, oh, wow. I stitched um, at lunchtime, so half an hour. Just at a time. Yeah, isn't it? Are I'm you using the Valdani's on that? Yes. Yeah. And I have page one and half a two done. And this is page three. So mm -hmm. it's like when I stitch, I finish my color in my needle. So I just move on until mm -hmm. I am done yeah. and then I go on to the next color. Super cute. Beautiful, I actually, just, not cute. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I wasn't leaving yet. <laughs> Sorry, okay. but that was that's really the only thing that I've worked on. I'm trying to get my small done. That I mean, that's it's it's in there. Okay. Oh, oh this, this is a big. Oh, it's, your bag. Project bag. it's really pretty. I have this all kitted up. I know. I'm gonna have to start it this fall. Yeah. Um, yeah. My haul, what I'm going to show my haul includes fabric for my spring, my summer Quaker though. So now I just need to get the threads. Um, but I just, I love them. Love them, love them. Do you have any haul? No. Um, well, you do. It's just with me. Oh. <laughs> Aw. I'm not going to show you yet. Not anything. We haven't, I haven't been able to shop. Yeah. Anything. Well, I'm going to show my little haul here. And then Nancy's going to show her little haul. <laughs> so the fabric, I couldn't, they did not have a piece of the tr picture this plus truffle big enough for my summer. Oh, this is not even, uh, <laughs> you can't yeah, even tell. Because oh, that's like kind a of a pinky brown, right? Pinky brown. This looks gray, but it's not. It's a, yeah. there's no way we're going to get this to show. No, up. but it's no, um, pinky violet. It's got a little bit more violet in it. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it'll be perfect. It'll be fine. And it's we, big enough. We held it up to the truffle and it's just a little bit, a little bit pinkier. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's very modeled. So that's not truffle. You said they were out of truffle. So you got that one. It's added in a smaller piece. Yeah. That didn't have a big um, enough piece. I Nancy see. dug through while I was shopping and then she dug through and bought herself yeah. some fabric. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so I, that was a big thing that I've been waiting for. And I'm kind of glad to be able to buy it in person and not have to order it. Yeah. Some of these. So we hit, I, I did hit up their sale bin because they have an amazing sale bin there. And these, are, I bought did I have three of these, three of these 
the designer's fanciful blooms. Actually, are they all fanciful? No. No, no some are odd. Oh, but they're the same style. Sometimes you and I. You and I and friends, and this one's fanciful blooms. Is it a pattern? It's a different company, mm -hmm. a different address. Is yeah. it a design? What is it? Yeah, it's a design. And it comes in this cute little oh. brown envelope. Oh, that's and, cute oh, packaging. Again, you can't really see the colors, but it's super cute uh -huh. flower basket. Mm -hmm. And that helps a little. a little bit. I got that one. And then this other one is called Funky Flowers. It's not a great picture of it, but it's really cute too. It's a flower pot. Oh, yeah. And flowers coming out of it. And then the last one I got, she's called <laughs> So cut off our head. She's called <laughs> Tag with a Bird. Oh, <laughs> is it an onion? No, it's a little pumpkin head thing. Oh, it's a pumpkin, like a yeah. gourd. A gourd. Yeah. It so, kind of looks like an onion, though. I didn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. And they were half off. They were four dollars each. So I thought I'm just gonna get them. And I, I feel like I had seen somebody talking about some you and I patterns recently. Not these ones, but some other ones. And I, they're not designing anymore. I even looked on eBay and couldn't find anything by them. I feel well, like they had a lot too. They did. I mean, I could have bought more of these. That was in the sale bucket. The other thing I got, this is a Bent Creek and it's a whole kit. It's got the fabric, the oh, little nice. buttons and the threads. And it's called, I'm going to take it out of this plastic really quick though. It's called Together. It's just, and because the price was so good, it's little hedgehogs. Oh. These are little hedgehogs. They're kind of spiky. <laughs> and toadstools and some buttons. That's cute. But Wait, it comes this Night Creek, yeah. Yeah, it's a kid. And there are some, oh yeah, some cute ones on the back. So that was kind of fun. I used to stitch quite a bit of Bent Creek. In fact, right after I came back to stitching in 2018, I had a Bent Creek bird that I finished. And then I used Vonna Pfeiffer's tutorial for a flat fold. Oh um, yeah, that's right. That's a funky one. kind of bird. I actually saw that one stitched up in a frame today at Stitchville. Mm -hmm. Um, also in the sale rack, I got a shepherd's bush. The picture is not going to show very well, yeah, but it's going to look it up. It's called Hive and Home. And there, one's a little house, and then there's some beehives, and you know, typical mm -hmm. terrible picture. Well, it's just so small. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they always, but have that a was kind of picture with a lot in it. Yeah, they do. And then this other shepherd's bush I got. I've never seen this. I, I don't know if they have a whole series of this. And it's called Winter Snow. And it's, it, so I'll just, it's a, like a window pane. And it just says Winter Smiles. And then there's a button in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then the Winter Smiles is in blue. And then there's some snowflakes and stuff. Cute. It's cute. And, you know, super affordable in their sale bucket. So that was fun. The, uh, the last thing I got in the sale bucket was my funny little hairs. Oh. Your primitive it's little one. Oh, and they're so cute. <laughs> and you even agreed when I finished my fall one that they had kind of grown on you. Yeah, I think it was cuter like when it was done up. Yeah, there's funky, funky bunnies. Funky bunnies. Quirky, um, quirky little bunnies. And then I bought some prairie, two prairie schoolers. I really like this. These little crazy oh. kids. <laughs> I don't think I'll do the whole house and all that probably. Yeah. But you know how they're so versatile, their patterns. Yeah. So I bought that one to add to my collection. And then I bought Reindeer Roundup, which I they had a model stitched up and it was on a darker fabric and I liked it and it really sold it on me. I sold me on it. Was it on black? No, this one was not on black. On black. But it was like on a darker. Like a tea dyed natural? Thing. Yeah, like a tea dyed, nat tea dyed natural. And it's smaller. To me, this makes it look big, but it's actually quite small. But I always feel like it's going to be bigger than it is. I'm going to change the color of that house, though. Yeah. But anyway, really like it. I like that Santa. Yeah, that's cute. Um, the, two more things. I bought this was a, a Chessie and Me. It's a fall, little fall sampler. Oh, that's cute. It's got a pumpkin, a turkey, and squirrels. Mm -hmm. They had a whole rack of Chessie and me, and I don't see a lot of Chessie and me where I live. Mm -hmm. And this was another Bent Creek kit that I got because I saw it on the wall. And again, the picture doesn't do it justice. It's called Winter Zipper. 
Oh. <laughs> but the fabric that comes with it is much browner. Hmm. Not mm -hmm. as white. And I, it shows up way better on this fabric. Mm -hmm. I think you should be quiet because we're recording. <laughs> they say inappropriate things out there. Uh -huh. Oh, look, it came with two, two pictures. Anyway, that was my haul from this stitch bill, aside from something I bought for Sarah and aside from some giveaways that I pre-bought. Oh, that are kind of fun to have. So it, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah, yeah. We made a nice little dent in the store. Yeah, Nancy I, did too. <laughs> um, I got this one from you and friends. It says Nancy Sampler. Oh, <laughs> and the reason I did this, I know it says it says I don't know. Can you see? It says BS on there. Yeah. So my college roommates and I, we get together every month since we graduated in 1984. Hmm. And we started our little group called Stitch and Bitch. Hmm. And this year in September, we're taking, because we all turned 60 this year, we're taking a trip. So I'm going to stitch one for everybody, but I'm going to oh. put S and B and then oh. here's the other one oh, and make a little Christmas ornament for everybody. Oh, cute. Give to them. Um, I also got, Kim found this one from just another button company called Spook House Rules. Oh, those are fun. <laughs> and um, Nisi Lynn, I don't know if anybody watches her, but she just completed this. Hmm. It's adorable. Well, and it has all the cute little googly yeah. eyes. Yeah, it comes with oh. it comes with oh. buttons. Oh, gosh. Super so cute. Fun. Just a little small, but that was that was also in the clearance bin, which I thought was kind of funky. They had, guys, they had a lot I in mean, the clearance. her clearance bin is like half the size of Threadneedle Street almost. I mean, it, oh. it couldn't even hardly go. It was just packed. Yeah. Huh. Um, this one is from Elizabeth Needlework Designs. It's called Antique Bird Sampler. Ooh, that's pretty. And each one is, you know, the early bird gets the worm. A little birdie told me. Oh. <laughs> Birds and the bees. It's cute. Um, and I saw somebody stitch this. This picture does not do it justice. Mm -hmm. It was adorable. Mm -hmm. So that was in the clearance bin. Yeah. I think that was that was it. Mm -hmm. um, I got this Barbara Anna design. <laughs> that's fun. What's so it called? Cute. Halloween cat. Ready for Halloween. Oh, that's cute. Um, yeah. Kim made me buy that one. <laughs> I, I do not. <laughs> um, this is Brenda, right? Brenda Gervais, Autumn in Autumn in a Manor. Souvenirs of the Heart. I just I don't have a whole lot of fall, mm -hmm. but I I I like the little squirrels. Uh -huh. I like the border too. Yeah, and the border. Um, oh, this one was in the clearance bin too. Silver Creek samplers. Um, Put that up close, real quick. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I don't see very many Easter ones. And this is very Eastery. Yeah. And it says an angel rolled the stone away from the tomb where Jesus lay. He has risen was the cry as joyful praises filled the sky. But what I liked was where the tomb is. There's like a crown. Mm -hmm. And then you can see the angel. Mm, I like that. Yeah, it's pretty. I might have to use that after you're done. Yeah. Can you finish it like next week? Sure. Because I need some new Because you know what? That that would be a quick stitch, actually, all those words. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't take take so long. Yeah. Um, I got the Prairie Schooler Happy Christmas. Oh, yeah. Which I already have. So we should just do a stitch along. Yeah. There. And this one, I also got the black fabric. Wow. This one too makes it look big, but we saw this stitched and it was probably in an eight by 10 frame. So it was yeah. probably six by eight. Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't very big. Yeah, it wasn't very big. Hmm. I don't but, even feel like it was in an eight. Was it really in an eight by 10 uh, frame? Yeah. It just looked tiny. I mean, yeah. it, it really makes, and some of them are just so cute when they're done up so tiny. Mm -hmm. And then I watch um, Pam and Steph and one day they did um, this from because they are affiliated with Twin Peak Primitives. Mm -hmm. And they did this Meredith on duty pattern. And I ordered the kit. So I got the bag, the floss, two little coasters, um, some thread drops, a little oh, nail file. Little um, <laughs> yeah. Um, the fabric. 
and then the pattern. I just, I don't know what it was about her. I just, normally I don't fall for all those full kits and everything, but this one I just really liked. I thought I just thought it was cute. <laughs> it is cute. Isn't that cute? So that is really cute. Again, can you finish it next week? Sure. Like that family. Anything for you. <laughs> I'm running out of things to do. Yeah, you don't have enough whip. <laughs> Okay, you go buy some things. And then um, <laughs> Stitchville has punch cards. So Kim helped me fill a punch card today. So then I had looked at this book twice. So with my punch card, we redeemed it for Teresa Kogut's oh. Bright Stars. Because mm. now I don't have enough patriotic stitching. <laughs> is that a pattern in the book too? Or is that just her? Mm, I don't know. Ooh. it's got a lot of fun things in there i forgot to show my knitting because i have been knitting in the car for hours and hours and hours i'm almost done with my advent cal guys uh, i might even have it done before june 1st <gasps> wow those colors at the top are so pretty now those colors show up on there mm -hmm. yeah. so i'm on this row started with a purple up here mm -hmm. and then i have one more pink to go wow that's and I, that's really nice and i tell you what we pulled into iowa no <clears throat> is it how do you say it ankeny uh, yeah ankeny, ankeny iowa, iowa yesterday to get lunch it's pouring down rain mm -hmm. actually we pulled into a truck stop earlier <laughs> pouring down rain and blowing and it was 49 degrees i had a short sleeve shirt on no socks because we left Indiana, it was 70 something degrees. I wished I could have put this on because <laughs> it was so cold. And for a while, I thought dad still had the AC on. I'm, I'm like, like this and my sweaters in the very back and my suitcase. And he goes, are you okay? Are you cold? I'm like, I'm freezing. I said, can you turn the AC down? He goes, I don't have it on. That's just the air. Blew. So when we got out of this truck stop, Got back in the car. He got in the car before I did. He had the heat running for me. So when I got in, it was warm in there. And, it, and then we stopped in Iowa City to get lunch and it was still blowing and not, not oh, Iowa City, but Ankeny, blowing, yeah. cold. I'm like, I, I thought I was going into the Midwest where it was going to be hot and humid. I, I packed two long sleeve shirts for this whole trip. Yeah, and it rained all day today mm -hmm. here too. So it was wow. wet, damp and, yeah. damp and chilly. Damp and chilly, but yeah that's that was our day then we had yeah. dinner with family and oh you got some fabric yeah i got um some fabric too she's gonna start uh, button up you can't really see it but it's oh, a model piece of you finish that one. what you know i need to finish it um you still need to finish that I almost brought it on the trip but i didn't that i was realistic i started it and didn't like the fabric that i had it on so uh, yeah. again did you rip it out no, because I only had one square now. Oh. Not even one square. Oh, I think, yeah, I think one you might have shown it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I bought some other things for giveaways that, you know, at a later date. But uh, once per day. Yeah, we have a giveaway once. for today. Oh, we I have mean, a giveaway. You want to do giveaways now, and then I'm going to go do bedtime. And if you guys are still visiting and stuff is going, I'll pop back. Mm -hmm. I, um, we did have a giveaway from two weeks, three weeks ago, whenever that last time we got to do this was. And I don't have it, you don't have it with you because you're traveling, but we were giving away mom's copy, her finished copy, passing the stash of um, Alicia Paulson's Things Summer. of Summer. Things of Summer, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And um, the winner for Things of Summer is Sharon Mahone. So congratulations, Yay, Sharon. Congratulations, Make Sharon. Sure we have your address because I know we've sent you things before. So unless it's changed, we can just get that sent out to you. You will, you will love stitching it. It's yeah, such a it's fun. Such a cute one. So yeah. um, I, I should probably slip out because it's getting late and the girls need to go to bed. Okay. Well, we just have one more thing. Yep. It's just, just a giveaway for the, this week. Yep. You want to do that? Yeah. Yep. Um, in the parents bin was this one, Cricut Collection. Oh, I love Cricut Collection. It's yeah, such cute stuff. It's stars and stripes. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's patriotic. all patriotic. Patriotic. So, Uncle Sam. They're, and they're kind of hard to see. But one is like a star, broad stripes and bright stars. We couldn't figure out this one at first, but it's amber waves 
of grain. Oh, grain. so it's the yeah. song basically. Yeah. yeah. And there's one nation okay. invisible. It's an eagle. Uh, with freedom and justice is like an Uncle Sam. Sweet land of liberty is a house and a heart with a star. Yeah. I think that's. Yeah. They're all star patterns. What's yeah. the name of it again? Broad stripes, stripes and, and bright stars. stars. Well, that doesn't. Oh, I was trying to think of a good name, a good word. Maybe just liberty. Yeah, liberty. Okay, that's good. Word liberty. You and if you can't, that? and if you can't really see this, I'm sure if you Google this to see if you want it, it's again, it's called bright, broad stripes and bright stars from Cricut Collection. Oops. And it is really cute, and they've got it done up like in a mobile here, or they've done it on a wreath, or it would just be a cute doble. Yeah, that's what back I gives you the pattern of the star to cut out. Um, nice. Yeah. So on some and finishing directions. It does call for some buttons from GABC buttons, but any place that carries buttons, you're gonna be able to find what you need. I think it's like a yeah, a just star. another button company. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> so anyway, if you want this, liberty. Use the word liberty. It's a pattern from. What did we say? 2012, I think I saw. Oh, not very old. Well, I guess that's 10 years ago. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I know. In my head, it's still like, oh, four years ago. Still well, just we saw a pattern. We were like, oh, this is 2015. That's not. And then we're like, that's, that's farther the, away yeah. than we think it was. I don't know why I said that, because now I can't find anywhere that has the date. Anyway, Anyways. it's still relevant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's still cute. Yeah. Okay. yeah I don't see it anywhere. Yeah. That's really all we've got. That's all we've got. Well, then maybe we just call this a short and sweet one. Short and sweet one just to say hi and plans. Yes. I mean, I don't know what your plans are. I got to figure out my June plans. Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't know. I got to figure out. We're still alive. Yeah. We want you to all know we're, we're still alive. Here. Nancy's and alive. I'm glad to visit. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to do it yeah. again with Aunt Nancy again. Yeah. Okay. We'll sign well, up. Love you. Yeah. Thanks for watching.